Esther chapter 3. After these things did King Azurus promote Haman, the son of Hamadetha, the Agagite, and advanced him, and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servants which were in in the king's gate, said to Mordecai, Why transgress you the king's commandment? Now it came to pass, when they spoke daily to him, and he hearkened not to them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. And he, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Azurus, even the people of Mordecai. In the first month, that is the month of Nisan, in the twelfth year of King Azurus, they cast Pur, that is the lot, before Haman, from day to day and from month to month to the twelfth month, that is the month Adar, and Haman said to the king Azurus, Where is a cert or there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of your kingdom, and their laws are diverse from all people, neither keep they the king's laws, therefore it is not for the king's prophet to allow them. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed, and I will pay ten thousand talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of business to bring into or bring it into the king's treasuries. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it to Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, the Jews' enemy. And the king said to Haman, the silver is given to you, the people also to do with them as it seems good to you. Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month. And there was written according to all that Haman had commanded to the king's lieutenants and to the governors that were over every province and to the rulers of every people of the every province according to the writing thereof and to every people after their language, in the name of the king Azurus, was it written and sealed with the king's ring. And the letters were sent by post into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Adar, and to take the spoil of them for a prey, the copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published to all people that they should be ready against that day. The post went out being hastened by the king's commandment and the decree was given in Shushan, the palace, and the king and Haman sat down to drink. But the city Shushan was perplexed.